Hello, welcome to Laser Cut and Fly. On this channel, I'm going to show you how to get free plans off the internet, how to convert them for your laser, how to cut out the components and build and fly your own aircraft. And with old timers like this, I'll show you how to convert to radio control. Let's get going. Welcome to Laser Cut and Build, I'm the Laser Model Guy. This is part three of building the Hurricane. In parts one and two, you saw how we used the laser to produce all of these components. And what we're gonna do now in part three is we're gonna start building the Hurricane. Let's get going. So these are all the components. These are all the components now cut out for the, this is for the Hurricane. Um, they're all double size, so I, I um, raised it up to 200% after I scanned in um, the components from the original plan. So when I look at these, they, they just pop straight out and the components come out absolutely perfect. So they'll be very, they'll be very good. They'll go together very, very well. So next it's time to get on with building the aeroplane and the plan that I've got is obviously half the size that I need it to be. So I've got a piece of cardboard, a piece of really flat cardboard that I'm going to be working on. I've got a white sheet where I'm going to be copying more or less what's on the, on the original plan. I'll, um, I'll lay out the pieces and then once they're all pinned down and I'm happy that they're in the right place, I'll just trace around them with a pen or a pencil so that I end up with a proper plan at the end of it all. But uh, let's get on with building. So following the plan, what I need to do to start, I'm gonna start with the body. Um, I need to put the, uh, the bottom piece down and then the two top pieces down and um, then I can start building the body formers or attaching the body formers to those. I'm going to be using the um, this PVA Easy Sand wood glue from uh, Vintage Model Company, and uh, let's start laying out laying out the pieces. So this is part of the bottom of the body former. out nicely comes out really good and then um, what I did was I've left the marks in that show where the formers go and there uh, so this is double size of this piece here and because of the, the the length that I've extended it to I had to do this in two parts so I've got a3 and I've got A3A just here. So I'll just pop that out. And that will just fit together like that to form this whole bottom bottom section so if I put that up here and pin it down and we can start building the plane from there now it's worth noting that our tallest former or the highest former is going to be this one here which is B4 so if we find B4 we can then work out where what position to put the um, to put the frame on the um, on the paper and there's B4 there so just pop that out there you go. so this this will be the one that goes there which means that our next part of our Aeroplane. What I'm, what I'm getting at is the bottom of this can go where it is because we won't be any higher, any higher than that. And there's our B4 
B5 there, which will come in and help us to set the position when we're ready when we're ready to go. So I'm quite happy that we lay out the the bottom of the aeroplane just here. So with that in mind, I'll just put a little bit of a uh, little bit of glue along this straight part of this. Oops, along the straight part down here. And then we can connect these two, like that, and we'll put a little bit of uh, a little bit of strengthener on there later. We might put uh, a little piece of wood across across that later, just to give it a bit of extra strength. Don't want to stick it to the paper. I've made a mark on there already. That's uh, not a good thing. So, with our B4 there, I'm confident with the position that we've got. So, I'm going to pin this wood down. And that will be our that will be our start point. Okay, that top part there wants to be exactly in line with that back back end there, and we can just move those out of the way just until we get our our placement absolutely correct. So the last one here is going to be B8. So if I get that one, if I press that one out now, and here we are, there's B8. And just pop that one out. will sit with the uh, central spar which is going to run along the outside that's at the top top end of the top part so that is going to set the height of that and that's going to look just like that okay so I'll continue doing that to, to get the height all sorted out and um, I'll, I'll show you how that looks in just a minute. Okay, so I've put these formers in and that's set the height for the for the top and, and the distance for the bottom of the of the plane. So what I'll do now is do the same thing for the front, which uh, is a little bit lower. Whereas I'll, I'll just pull out the, uh, the pieces. Here's a one here. So I'll just take that one out. Um, so that one will be uh, coming across the front down here somewhere so I'll cut these formers out or I'll, I'll pop these formers out now and put them together so that we've got the one side of the fuselage more or less in shape and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just nip round with a pen so that we end up with a plan on here which will help us um, if we build one in future I'll be able to roll that up and put it away with other plans and that'll be great so I'm looking for B1, B2 and B3. I've got B3 here. Uh, where's B1? There's B1 over here. So I'll just pop those out and we'll um, we'll get on with it. You can see, okay, so that's um, the forms on one side of the fuselage done. So what I'm going to do now is I'll, um, I'll just let that set a little and then I'll start adding the stringers. Um, into the into the slots now the stringers um, for the original would have been 1 16th I'm going to be using 1 8th balsa and um, then the former that goes into the long slot here um, that goes the length of the aeroplane and I don't have that former because it isn't drawn on the um, it isn't drawn on the plan so what I'll be doing is I'll be um, making a shape on paper and then I will uh, scan that in and then we'll, um, we'll be able to get that one cut. Okay, so that's, that's where we're at at the moment. I'll just leave that to uh, go off some of the glue and then we'll be, we'll be back on with it. See you soon. One thing that doesn't appear anywhere in the plans, so you can't, um, you can't scan in, is the former that goes along the sides in these deep slots um, 
And so in order to get round that and in order to make that format, what I've done is I've used a piece of card. And you just slot that card in and then you can mark the tops, the top of each of the formers and then where there's gaps at the bottom you can make adjustments on the ones that are touching and eventually you can get the shape of that front end of the former and then by moving the card along you can work out the shape and mark the shape of the back of the former and uh, by doing that what I've ended up with is this which is um, which is a former that is the shape of the former that would go the whole length of the aeroplane. I'll just drop that in so that you can see it. So there you go, that's it in place. You can see it just there. Um, and now all I'm going to do is take that out of there, trace round it, scan it in, and then I can scan it in or move it into light burn, and then we can um, we can cut those pieces out and I can add that to my cutting list and in future when I print out the components for the hurricane that former will be there so that's how we get around that little okay, problem okay so we're ready to cut now ready to cut the new components uh, I've got my little extractor in place and um, I'll just check the frame just to make sure that we're all good and yeah exactly exactly where we want to be so let's press play and let's go Okay, that's it all cut out. So, <coughs> with the constant power, it should just all pop out. Oh, look, yeah, just pop out nicely. So, that's the difference between the constant power and um, not having the constant power on. Okay, so let's get on with fitting these. Perfect. So that's the left hand side of the fuselage complete. You can see the um, the former has been put in all the way along and these are the stringers which are 1 8 square balsa, square balsa strip. So what I'm going to do now is take the left hand side of the fuselage off the board, flip it over and then we can put the other formers onto the other side and then build up the other side in exactly the same way so we'll have a complete fuselage. Let's, uh, let's do that now then. So that's one side of the fuselage completed and now all we need to do is put the formers onto the other side and just carry on building up the fuselage. And then once that's done we can start looking at the wings. So I'm going to put the formers on. This is they're all laid out in order here. This is B1, which is the end former, and I'm going to glue that onto there. Now what I've done, um, I've cut the corner off a piece of card, and the reason I've done that is so that when we put the formers on, as we're moving along, I can check that they are at right angles, so they are bolt upright to the to the rest of the rest of the frame, and uh, by doing that, we can make sure that the we can make sure that the whole frame is all square and runs runs nicely in a in a line. So just put a little bit of glue on, and then making sure that our main side former slot is at the top of the aeroplane. We'll just put that in. Sit it in, make sure that we're very square on the end first. Just make sure we're right at the end of the... And then we'll just check for the square and upright. And there we are. 
that should be fine just square and true. I'll just check that again in a minute just in case it, it moves slightly while we're doing one or two of the others but um, we shouldn't have any problem with that. And these formers will just be a mirror image of the formers on the other side and, um, and that's how we'll carry on building up the Fuselage. Yeah, nice and square. Okay, it's moving around a little bit. That maybe I should put something on it just to hold it down, hold it in place. But you can see how we're going to carry on doing this. I'm just going to put the rest of them on now and then we'll have a look at that once that's done. So, that's the fuselage finished and um, you know both sides have now completed so what we'll do next time is we'll build the wings that's the main plane that goes underneath at the front the tail plane and I'll also be building the rudder and then after that we'll convert to RC radio control and when we've done that we'll take it out to fly don't miss it see you soon don't forget to like and subscribe bye for now